Thanks so much, Andy. We're going to check in with Mike Yachty now, who is live this morning getting his hearing checked. We might get a look right inside your ear. Hey, Mike? We certainly are. I'm playing around with this camera here. The uh, the light just went off, but I was looking at my eye. There we go. I'm messing up my eyes at the uh, the ear clinic. We're at the Beltone Hearing Clinic this morning, and you know what? Hearing loss is. I, I find it's a fascinating subject. So I'm curious. You know, is it an age thing? Is it our environment? Uh, somebody's going to answer some of those questions for us this morning. Is Ira? Ira. Um, what does it come down to? I mean, how big of a problem is hearing loss uh, amongst Canadians? Okay, uh, roughly 20% of the population at large has a hearing loss. And of course, the older you get, the more likely you are to have a hearing loss. Uh, they say that um, in the aging population, hearing loss is the third most common physical condition after arthritis and heart condition. Wow. And yet it's, it's really ignored medically. Uh, when you go to a, get a physical in a doctor's office, they never do a hearing test or a hearing screening, right. and that's something that really needs to be changed. So I guess part of the process is looking inside yeah. our ears, right. and you have devices here for that. This is a camera I'm holding on. Right. Uh, so <clears throat> I don't know how I feel about this, but you're going <laughs> to look see, in my gonna, ear this we're gonna morning. We're going to get intimate with your ear. You, we're taking you on a journey this morning. You're going to inside my ear as well. So okay. Mary Ann's actually standing by. I'm going to give right. this to you because you are going to be the one doing the probes. Okay, so just... So basically... It's important to know what's going on on the outside of your ear, and if we can just take a look at this, what we're going to be looking at is going down the ear canal and looking at the eardrum and seeing if there's any medical condition that would you know, cause us concern. Okay. Uh, it could be wax, it could be uh, eczema, it could be external otitis. And so by taking a look in your ear, we rule that out. Okay. Okay. So, um, so Mary uh, should we warn people do that. at home first? Is this, does this get gross? No, it doesn't get too gross. It's, it's pretty neat. I don't know what's neat. in there. Well, we're going to find out right now. This is something I cannot now. prepare for. So, okay, okay, we're going to capture it. So, <clears throat> go right. ahead, Marianne. You want to take... Is this going to hurt? No. <laughs> there we go. We're there we go. Right I'm sorry ear. to everyone at home. And there it goes. It's going well, in. It's kind of dark in there. <laughs> Let's take it back out. <laughs> I think there, there used to be a light on. The light yeah. wasn't on anymore. No, it's, it should be in there. Okay, let's, uh, let's just reset it. When I was kind of playing yeah. beforehand, looking into my eye, the light turned off. Okay. I Try might have now. broke it. I might have you broke, broke it. my thing. My ears being difficult this morning. Okay, try it again. Are we getting anything? Still no light. No okay. Well, you know what? We're having some technical problems. I might have broken the little uh, camera. So um, let's let's throw it back to the okay. studio and we'll see what we'll see what we can do and see if we can see the innards of my ear a little bit later this morning. Okay. Hopefully, everyone finishes eating by then. You've been warned. I love it. it. Technical See? problems, or maybe it's just black in between there. Maybe, who knows? <laughs> That's right, Leah. I'm sure we've all seen in the doctor's offices images like that diagram showing what our ears look like. But have you ever seen inside your own ear? Well, we're going to be seeing inside mine this morning, and I apologize in advance. I don't know what, Ira, uh, with Beltone Hearing Clinic, I don't know what's in there. Uh, I'm a little bit nervous. This is normally when I would say, hey, cameraman, Nick, let's look in your ears. Uh, but he's got to run the camera, so I guess there's no one else but me. We're going to find out. So, Marianne, okay. why don't you do the honors? Do we have to give a warning to people at home? That, uh, like, no, this won't no? be too gross. No. Okay, what can we expect? So we're going through the canal. You can see a lot of hair in your ear, oh, and there gross. is the eardrum right there. And we're just going to capture that very quickly. And is this, it normal to have beautiful. that much hair in there? Yeah. <laughs> okay. You know, you should see my ear. I've got lots more hair than you do. We call that selective hearing, right? As you get older, you get more hair. <laughs> okay, so let's take a look. Okay, so you, let's can take you a show us a picture now? of yeah. what you snapped? And so basically, and you're looking at your eardrum, okay. and it, it's kind of grayish pink, which is perfectly normal. What, what are the white And the white bulbs? thing over here is the malleus, and that's the largest bone of the ossicular chain. It attaches to the eardrum, which then connects to the incus and the, stir and the stapes, which goes into the inner part of your ear, and, that, that's how, and sound travels through that ascicular chain. So that's normal, those whites, yep. that's not something see that, that, if okay. it's not there, then we've got a problem. Okay, okay. Let, let's talk about, the, like, do you see any wax in there? Well, you've there? got little, little bits of wax all around, which is perfectly normal, because the wax is supposed to be there to protect your ear from bacteria. Really? Yeah. So You're, that leads to the question, people clean their ears with yeah. quite often swabs. Yeah. What should you be doing to get that wax out? First of all, the first thing I learned my very first day in an audiology class was never put anything smaller than your elbow in your ear. Okay, good rule of thumb. Because then you can't get into trouble. So nothing? Nothing. Um, if you shower, you tip your head up, let the water flush out any loose wax, and it dries out. If you see that you've got a lot of wax, 
best place to go is see your family doctor and have him clean it out okay. professionally. And mine looks okay though when your it comes to wax? Your ear is absolutely perfect. Okay. Got good a really nice ear. I got a nice ear. A nice ear. So it looks good, but the question is how well does it work? Okay. Uh, you're going to be putting me in this booth in a few moments, right. and you're actually going to be doing some tests. What are we going to be doing during we're, the commercial break? We're going to do a hearing test. Okay. Uh, we're going to test your ears. We're going to have you tested at different frequencies and find the, the softest sounds that you can hear at each frequency. We're going to plot it on an audiogram, okay. and then we're going to talk about the results. Okay. And then we're going to be, if you have a hearing loss, we'll be able to show everyone out there what your hearing loss sounds like. Okay. And if you don't, we've got a uh, we've got one that we can show you anyhow. Okay. okay. So we've seen inside my ears. Now we're going to see how it functions. I'm going to head into the booth and uh, find out if my wife really knows what she's talking about when she says I have a selective hearing. <laughs> Thanks, Andy. Our Mike Yanni is live this morning. He's getting his hearing check now. He's learning all about hearing loss. We'll have to find out how you can hear, Mike. Sorry, what's that? I'm. Uh -huh, gotcha. They are letting me out of the isolation booth here. I feel like I was in a game show. I'm ready to win some money. Find out how my hearing is. I'm going to hang up my little button, which I used to, uh, every time they played a tone, I had to click that button uh, for both ears. So Iris standing by with Belltone Hearing Clinic. He's going to show me how my hearing is. A little nervous about this because I do think I've got some hearing loss in my right ear. I always wear my little IFB so I can hear everyone back in the studio in my right ear. And you... I don't know, what, what's, well, what's it look like? Well, we've good news, bad news for you. The good news is that <laughs> your news, hearing place. is within normal range. Okay. Uh, normal hearing generally runs from zero to 25. So you can see that all of the frequencies that we tested do fall within that range. So as long as I'm above 25, you're I'm okay. okay. Now, the, what's the The thing the I'm more concerned the about is the, the red is the right ear yeah. and the blue is the left. Okay. And so the fact that you wear that earpiece in your right ear, you can see that there is, especially that little bit of high frequency loss, additional loss in your right ear probably from the constant bombardment of sound in that ear. So a little bit of loss in that, in that ear. Yeah. My computer went to sleep, that's okay. Okay, let's we'll okay. go on this one. Um, yeah, so um, that's the problem. Uh, so what I would recommend is that you switch ears okay, every week maybe, uh, putting your earbud in the other ear and then really? switching over, yeah. But so, okay, I'm, I'm, I'll give my age to everyone at sure. home. 38. Right. Overall picture for a 38 year old, am I on par? A little you are perfect, left ear perfectly on par with an thir average 38 year old uh, person. Interesting. Right ear, a little bit below. So, okay, I've got a, a, a random question for you. Sure. <laughs> People come in here all the time. Right. Uh, you look in everyone's ears. Right. You see wax, you see other stuff. Right. What are some of the strangest things you've seen in ears? Uh, we've seen bugs in ears. No, you have not. Yeah, we've seen uh, bees in ears, um, ants. Uh, I've seen a pencil. <laughs> Pencil tip, the old pencil tip has been in there. I'm assuming that's uh, in a child, yeah, though, right? Yeah, mostly in a child, yeah. But oh uh, nothing ever really terrible other than You that. just said you had bugs and ants. Well, it's just a bug and an ant. It flushes terrible. out very easily. Nothing terrible. Okay, so, <laughs> Jill, Leah. But you look I, at that I, and you've... I'm curious if you want me to bring this book back, because look at this. Earwax and foreign bodies in the ear canal. I'm not going to flip through this. I'll even cover that picture up. But this is a whole catalog of <laughs> things that they have found in ears. Do you want me to bring it back? You want There's me to show you something? There's a catalog for that. Is it published? Uh, there is 42 pages. 42 pages of stuff they found in ears. Tell us one strange thing. <laughs> I'm good. One I can't, strange I can't thing. even show you. I have a minor amount of curiosity. Uh, one. Okay. Uh, <laughs> There's okay. a moth. You can't even look. Yeah, don't go. There's don't a moth. <laughs> it's I'll bring it back Ed. to you. It's my gift to you this morning. With courtesy that, of Belton. Oh, we're, we're so out of time. Forward to it. Thank you so much, Mike. <laughs> Ooh. This. this is what's next. This, I first asked, where does this go? <laughs> it goes in my ear. Um, Ira with Beltone Hearing Clinic uh, is teaching us about um, hearing loss this morning uh, and also um, what you can do if you have hearing loss. So one of the things, of course, is uh, hearing aids or uh, customized ear protection, sound protection for your ears. Mm -hmm. But to make that, you have special tools because right. they're custom fit. Right. You've got to do an ear impression just like you would have a dental impression done if you're having teeth done. Okay, so I know dental impressions. I've had a few in my days. Same material. They're not really enjoyable. No, and this isn't either. <laughs> oh, awesome. <laughs> and of course, I'm going to get it done. How, where, where do you begin? Where do you begin? Well, first thing I'm going to do is just uh, clean off my hands a bit, sanitize up. Okay. And then we're going to take this little cotton block, and we're going to shove oh, it in it your comes. ear. Oh, okay, awesome. so just tip your head back for me a little bit. So why, why are we putting the cotton oh, in we're there? putting that in to protect your eardrum, because the impression material that goes in will go as far as we allow it. And this cotton block will stop it from getting to the eardrum. <laughs> How far is okay. it going? 
Oh, we've still got lots of room. Okay. The canal is pretty deep. I should point out, uh, just as Ira's doing everything there, apparently I have very narrow ear canals. Yes, you and do. for the hearing part, they had to use child equipment on my ears because that's the only thing that fit. Okay, what okay is so this that? is a pre mixed impression material, same material that your dentist will use to do uh, teeth, but it doesn't taste quite as good. And we just kind of inject it into your ear. That's cold. Filling the concha, <laughs> filling the whole thing up. So it feels like I've got water in my ears. Yep, and that's it. We're done. Okay, we're, we're done. So how long does this sit? It takes about for? five minutes to dry. Five minutes. And then we will have this is joyful. the actual form of your ear. So Ira, when, when okay. people think they have hearing loss, I mean, how soon should you be coming in? Is this something you can kind of wait or? Uh, best thing is, as soon as you notice that you have a hearing problem, get it taken care of. The longer you wait, the less can be done. If it's a medical condition, you want to get it treated. Uh, before it gets worse. If it's noise induced or if it's aging related, uh, the longer you wait to get a hearing aid, the less a hearing aid will be beneficial. So sooner than later, so sooner that's what you yeah, want. Absolutely. Now I gotta point out too, a lot of people uh, think that, you know, they may know uh, Leah and Joel that they have a, a hearing issue, but they don't want to come in because they, the hearing aids typically in the past been big and bulky. Look at this. This is a brand new hearing aid from Beltone. It actually syncs up with your iPhone and you control everything. Look how tiny that is. You would never even know that uh, you have a hearing aid in there. But uh, I have no idea what we're gonna do with this impression. Maybe I'll bring it back and put it on my desk like a little trophy. It's a good look, isn't it? Or get a custom-made IFB. That's exactly because what I was thinking. Because we all these wear these little pieces. guys. They would be lovely to have a customized one. How about that? Lucky Mike Yanni. We have a great show to line up for you tomorrow.